Hey, everybody. Welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, we're going to be discussing this whole Brittany Renner situation, right? Now, before I even get into the situation revolving around her, I want to first give a, a background as far as how I personally feel about somebody such as a Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner has been, in my opinion, the type of female that promotes whole culture. Being a female that is loose, reckless, unapologetic about it, and just chaotic, dysfunctional, you name it, right? And she is one of the many other females of today that are also romanticizing, uh, promoting, and glorifying what, again, I like to refer to as whole culture. And I've seen the negative effects that it has had on the women and young women and the females and young females around me, okay? And the reason why I'm saying females and women is because I want you guys to understand that I like to um, separate the two. In my opinion, females and women are not synonymous, okay? That's the way that I break it down. And so I've seen the negative effects that it's, that it's had on women, which are women of quality, substance, morals, and values, and the females, which are, you know, the low vibrational, um, not really thinking ahead, not really planning ahead, being reckless, being counterproductive. I've seen it have an effect on all of them. And so the reason why I personally want to speak on this is because I want to make this a teachable moment for those young females and young women around me or just all around the world to know and understand that whole culture is not something that you should partake in. It is not something that you should idolize nor respect. And in my opinion, Brittany Renner has always been somebody that has uh, propped up, if you will, uh, being a hoe. I mean, there's no other way to put it. And with young ladies being able to see that, hold up, maybe there, there is something to this. Maybe being a whore, being a hoe, being a, a, a female that is reckless and loose and not being responsible, maybe that is something that I should aspire to be for myself, right? Because we see uh females such as a Britney Renner, we see them uh with you know large followings, we see them with what we would think, you know, is a bunch of money. Um we see them being again idolized, celebrated, and we're like, damn, well, maybe I should get in on that that whole culture as well, because that's a a quick and easy route to take in order to get fame, fortune, notoriety, uh, popularity, you know, whatever. We see those females. And then on top of that, Brittany Renner, she's actually said that, you know, this is the way to live. This is the way to be. And so we see the, the young ladies and women in general around us, whether you're a woman or a female, we see them all around us and how they're kind of, taken on to this you have women for example let's break it down for a second before we share our screen and get into this we have women for example right that are upstanding they are conducting themselves respect uh, respectively you know respectfully uh they are being cautious and aware of what they do, how they do it, who they are, how they represent themselves, so on and so forth. They're actually putting in the work to make sure that they are getting the type of results that they want. Again, we want respect, we want uh, honor, and we want to be taken seriously. 
the whole nine. And we see these females around us that are absolutely chest deep in whole culture. And it looks like they're winning, right? It looks like they are getting the better end of the stick. And I've seen women that are just like, you know what, damn, like, what is up with that? I'm trying so hard to make sure that I'm conducting myself in a particular way to where I can have respect and I can hold my head up high and I'm going things, I'm going about things in a righteous manner, right? And it's like, damn, and, and they're surpassing me, right? That, that's, this, this is the illusion that these hoes are given to the, you know, honorable, respectful women. And so I've seen them kind of get a little discouraged in so in so many words. I've, I've seen them become a little discouraged to where it's like, well, damn, like I'm trying so hard to do this. And, you know, the hoes around me are quote unquote winning. Like, look at them. Like, why am I even, you know, working so hard? Why am I trying so hard? Why am I trying to be, you know, respected or carry myself in a particular light when obviously that is the person that people celebrate. Then on the flip side, you have females that are like, yes, I've been telling y'all we need to be out here uh, being reckless, being irresponsible, uh, using these guys, you know? And, and that's the kind of behaviors, that's the kind of mentality that a Britney Renner has, has promoted. And it's so disgusting. Because, again, she's out here saying, like, look, look, ladies, we're winning. Look at us. We're going to always win. Like, all we have to do is get us a, a, a man that is dumb enough with enough money to basically take care of us, sponsor our lifestyle. We don't have to be out here trying to conduct ourselves respectfully and move righteously. No, we can be some gold diggers. We can use men. We can be reckless in all ways, whether it's pertaining to sex, uh, what you do, it just in life in general. Like we don't, we don't have, we don't have any consequences. This is what a Britney Renner was promoting. And I've seen, like I said, all around how women have uh, been affected by that as well as females. Because now the females want to get in on it. Or you have respectful, respectable, righteous women saying, you know what? Maybe I am going about this the wrong way. Let me join in on the whole culture. Let me be reckless too. Let me live my quote unquote best life too. This is why I have a problem with Brittany Renner, because I know and I understand I have enough wisdom about myself to understand that that type of lifestyle does not last forever. It all comes down crumbling soon or later. And Brittany Renner is seeing that, you know, damn, maybe, maybe I went about this the wrong way. But see, Brittany Renner, in my opinion, is trying to save face. She has to try to present herself like she's unbothered. But best believe, young ladies and ladies of the world, she is. And this is a prime example of why you don't partake in what I like to refer to as whole culture. Let me first go ahead and read uh, what Brittany Renner posted on her Instagram. She says, um, can you imagine being 29 years old with a baby living back with your parent because you were kicked out of your house. She places in parentheses, uh, I left willingly because I go where I'm celebrated, not tolerated. With nowhere to go without a vehicle. Now again, Brittany Renner has been this type of female that has always presented herself to be this boss, independent, balling type of female. So if you were living that type of life, why are you, Miss Brittany Renner, why are you having to get kicked out of a residence and having to go move in with your mother? I thought 
whole culture was lucrative. I thought whole culture was placing you in a position of power. At least that's what you were promoting to the rest of us. So again, why is somebody of your caliber having to pack up and move back home with her mama? Again, young ladies, pay attention to this because they're feeding you an illusion. It's not real. Whole culture is not something that you should partake in. You'll end up back where you started at your mama's house. It only lasts for so long. But let's continue. She says, can you imagine not being mentally, physically, emotionally ready to get back in the gym, let alone host a club after just having a baby, but you have to work to take care of your child? Let's again, stop there. Because Brittany, from my understanding, you had a husband. You had a man of means, a man with resources that could have absolutely taken care of you. But you wanted to leave for whatever reason. Maybe, you know, having the family life, having the, the family structure, maybe that was just too boring for you. And so you wanted to place yourself in the situation to where now you have to get back on the host stroll. That's what this is. I have to host a club event. Well, you didn't have to because you had, again, a husband, a man with resources that was ready and willing to sit your ass down. But because y'all are just so about this whole life, y'all place y'all selves out there to just have to struggle. Now you're having to go back out there on, on the, the club scene after you've just given birth, you're a new mother, for what? Oh, because you a boss, bitch, you got to get it on your own. You don't want to rely on no hoods. You don't want to rely on no man. All right, well, we'll pick it. Pick your battle. Now you got to struggle with it. Ladies, once again, this is a prime example of us having our priorities effed up. Brittany Renner didn't have to be out here on the club scene trying to host an event. Again, this is whole culture. Hosting clubs and stuff, that's whole culture. She didn't have to choose that life, but she did. So again, it's on you, Brittany. And that's what I don't like about a lot of females. It's like, it's always everybody else's fault. Like, no, you, you chose this. Let's continue. What about being harassed about receiving $200,000 in child support? She places it in parentheses, uh, which is not true. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would believe such a ridiculous amount, but it's clear the real pandemic is how stupid people are. All right. She says, still no. Well, what about being accused of being a pedophile, a gold digger, better yet, a spiteful, I, I guess, baby mama, keeping their son from his dad when he wasn't even in the same state at the time? All of this has been my reality on top of trying to get things afloat financially, getting back in the group of social media and being falling off the face of the earth and being a new mother. Again, like, can we get some violins? Like, put some violins in the chat, y'all. Like, come on. Like, again, she's making it seem like, oh, woe is me. I had nothing to do with this. This is just the world around me collapsing. It, it has, I, I play no role in it. it I, I have no factor in this. It's just all happening to me. Not that she did anything. She just wants to deflect and, again, not take accountability. Brittany Renner, you're acting as if you haven't contributed to this perspective that people have of you. You placed yourself in the lights of being a gold digger, of being a pedophile. Like you're going to college campuses and you're down near 30 years old talking about, you know, watch out for your sons. Like, come on. Then you write books talking about how you've only dealt with these celebrity guys and, you know, 
men of means and all of this like come on you have created this perception of yourself sweetheart don't make it seem like you were just out here you know minding your business not doing anything wrong and then people just started casting stones at you like no sis you did this you created this image for yourself and this is what a lot of these females do that want to promote whole culture they want to use it to their benefit while it's convenient, but the moment that they want to settle down and they want to be taken seriously and they're getting older, now they are trying to shed that, that skin of being perceived as hoes, but they can't shake it off. You can't wash it off. This is what you built your whole brand upon. Like this, it's the, it's the, no accountability for me like we just making this up in our heads she goes on to say there isn't a person i know that could handle what i've been through i'm so happy it unfolded in this manner because can you imagine being miserable in a relationship for lifestyle you can create on your own can you imagine moving from a gorgeous condo in woodland hills california to charlotte North Carolina, and it's still not work out. Uh, can you imagine feeling the need to sacrifice everything, identity and independence included to be loved? I have no shame in my game. I've made a lot of money and blown a lot of money. Despite popular belief, I don't have it all together, but each day I do my best and each day my best gets better. Here's to new beginnings. Never give up and following your heart. Violins. This is just for her to save face. This is for her to save face, you guys. She has to make it seem like she's she's fine. It's, she's unbothered by this. No, no, sis. I'm not buying it at all. I'm not buying it at all. You have no shame. Yeah, I I, I highly doubt that. Anyway, let's go ahead and share our screen and get into this video all right so moved into my new place today yo when i tell you i've been ugly okay like we live with my mom and my sister me and my mom my sister my baby i mean because you know i two and a half months when i decided to leave if he was two and a half months old, I don't know where to go. Let's let's pause. So, are you telling us that Big Baller Britney, Big Baller Bundle Bundle of Britney, had nowhere to go? You have to go and move back in with your mother and your sister. This sounds like struggling to me. And again, ladies, we got we to gotta think about these things. When these females are out here trying to make it seem like, you know, ho is life and hot girl some of this and hot girl life that. And, you know, we don't depend on no man and we don't need no man. Like, no, nah, look at this. Look at, look, just look at it. I didn't have a car. I still have a car. She don't have a car. Um, I got rid of my car. You know, she, you know, she promises or whatever, but... Uh, <laughs> I've been thinking so hard, Beach, but this has really been the hardest time of my life. And I bet. I bet it has. Here I am. Because <laughs> I thought somebody, right. Cause, yeah. That to say, don't ever relinquish your independence for a relationship. Follow your dreams, not your boyfriend. A man is not a financial plan. Always have your own things. <laughs> this is the thing, though, with Brittany. I don't get that she wanted that anyway. Right? I don't get that Brittany ever wanted to be settled down or wanted to be in a serious, committed relationship. Um... She's just so deep into, again, whole culture that it just wasn't sitting right within her spirit to be somebody that was uh, at home, 
with the baby, with the husband, you know, with the family structure. Like she, I get that she wasn't built for that. Anyway. And so that's why she would have these kind of sentiments like, don't sacrifice this for a man. Don't say Brittany seems to be very self-centered, very uh, selfish, and very much so about just doing what's best for her. She's not even thinking about her child, right? She's not thinking about her child. She's thinking about, well, me and my independence and me and doing what I want to do. Like, what, what, what's best for your baby? And this is the thing about a lot of females today. Like, once we have children, it's no longer about what's convenient and what's uh, better for just you and only you. I'm pretty sure your baby would have been better off growing up within a household with both his mother and father without his mother being out here in these damn streets. It was good, Brittany, that you had a man to sit your ass down. That's good. But see, y'all are just so hold out to the core. Y'all can't even think straight when you have structure and order in your life. I honestly feel like since this situation, I don't think even when I was married, I can't see myself not having my own house outside of the main house. Like I would just have that own space. Maybe Again, independent boss bitch with, within a marriage. That doesn't work, ladies. Brittany, this is not a win. Again, I, I pick up on, I have to save face. I have to make it seem like I'm unbothered. You're bothered, Brittany. You're bothered, Brittany. This is a fail. And a lot, a lot of females such as Brittany Renner, they promote this kind of lifestyle to other women, other females around them. And it's only leading them to a path of loneliness and destruction of constantly having to hold. Brittany, what are you going to do? Are you just going to host club events for the rest of your damn life? What kind of structure are, are you trying to give to your baby? Or are you essentially going to create some of the same circumstances that you yourself admitted to growing up in as far as having the grandparents take over while you do what you want to do again this is setting us up for failure by promoting this always conduct yourself like you're single within a marriage i'll never have a, a situation to where you know a man uh is trying to take care of me and i have to rely on a man like it's nothing wrong with that what's wrong with that What's wrong with relying on a responsible, balanced, masculine, productive, honest man? What's wrong with that? Again, set us up for failure, Brittany. Fucking privilege to have. I'm so fucking thankful. I swear. Let's pause there too, because that's something very important. See, a Britney Renner, she has the support of fans, right? Britney Renner is a quote unquote celebrity. So she's able to do certain things that the everyday average woman or female would not be able to do. She'll be able to, you know, you know, bounce back better than the, the typical. But see, where I want to go with that is this. Y'all are trying to pattern yourself after a Britney Renner when y'all are not even in the same kinds of circles. Y'all not in the same circumstances or situations as a Britney Renner. Yet you're trying to follow behind her and look at her. She's back at home with her mother and her sister. Where do you think you're going to be? 
And again, I, I'm sure Brittany Renner, she she'll be better off than a lot of y'all that are trying to be like her. Like she's grateful that she has people supporting her, backing her up. She'll, you know what I mean? Like she'll have something to uh bounce back, quote unquote, with. Y'all? No. A again, setting y'all up for the complete and utter failure. No, hold on once again. Brittany Renner, while she is a failure, um, she's able to have certain perks and luxuries that the everyday average woman or female does not have. So she's promoting a whole culture lifestyle to y'all, setting y'all up to be worse off, 20, 100,000 times more worse off than she is. And so with that being said, She'll she'll probably take a a brief little setback. Although she's all she's ultimately overall a failure, you know. But according to her, you know she'll she'll bounce back in a few months. What about y'all? She's teaching y'all to pack up and leave stable situations with a newborn baby. Go back home with your mama. You don't have a fan base. You don't have a following. You can't just post a picture and get paid $5,000. So her few months of a setback could be a few years of a setback for y'all. Again, we have to get out of this whole culture mentality, y'all. Stop trying to be like these failure celebrities. These failure thoughts. It doesn't work. It doesn't even work for them. But see, they're able to have quote unquote money and, and fame while being broken, obviously, mentally and emotionally and internally. But at least they'll have those things in order to kind of soothe themselves. What do you have? You're not only going to be mentally broken, emotionally broken and, and internally unsound, but on top of that, y'all going to be absolutely broke. And maybe you don't have a mother to go back home to. So why are we jeopardizing healthy, stable family structures and healthy, stable foundations for our children for the sake of wanting to be strong, independent, and miserable? Well, let's continue, y'all. Leave after the first line. You know, people can change, but they when people aren't lying about what they're lying about, ain't no fixing that. Ain't no coming back from that, bro. <laughs> that's how you rock him. If that's how you rock an iron roll, left. A lot of people are afraid to leave relationships. Fear of missing out. Like, oh, I built this person up. You know, no one else is going to reap the benefits. Uh... I don't want to start over. I'm scared. Oh my God, who's going to want me? Especially as a mom. Because you know, it's fucking mom. We're ashamed for everything. No one's going to want to be with you. You have to get it. You know? There's just fear of, leave, leave, fear of just looking stupid. The only time you look stupid is when you allow yourself to look stupid. You don't look stupid when something doesn't work out. And bitch, you've had enough. It didn't work. Not even anything that doesn't be. I had enough. It's, this doesn't work for me. We are not a match. We are not a vibrational match. And I'm going to be on my way. If anything, I'm a smart bitch. Because I don't have time to waste. My energy is safer than I treat it as such. All right. Let's remove.
Girl, y'all know what I heard. I heard a bunch of, again, trying to cope, trying to save face. Y'all have got to get rid of this whole celebration of whole culture and thinking that whole is life and that's the way to go. No. Now, as far as leaving a situation that is unhealthy for you to be in, that's a completely different story. That's the cop out that Britney is trying to use. Britney is trying to use this cop out narrative of, well, I just wasn't happy and he was lying to me and he was trying to con control me and he was trying to do, please. Britney was who she was, which was a thotty thought cake. Okay. I'm sorry, Britney. It is what it is. And what did she just say in that video? She said, people rarely, rarely change. Right? Which means that she never changed. She was just trying to force herself to be this wife and this mother, but that's not who she is at heart. She wants to be a she wants to be out here in the streets. Brittany is addicted to whole culture. So much so that she was ready and willing to pack up her, her own newborn baby and jeopardize and sacrifice a stable family structure because she wanted to be out in the streets. But again, she has to try to polish this shit up to make her feel better about the decision that she made. Oh, well, he was trying to do this. I was losing myself. Yeah, you are losing yourself, Brittany. God forbid that you would have had some structure in your life and you would have had to sit down and actually be a good, righteous woman, a wife and a mother. Oh, goodness. That was completely losing your independence. But see, she has to play on the heartstrings of the everyday a typical woman that may be going through a similar, a similar situation to where, you know, they were honestly in a, a bad marriage or they were honestly in a situation that was toxic for them to be in and they had to make those moves. She's trying to place herself within that realm. But no, Brittany, no, we see right through you, sis. We see right through you. And we have got to call this out because this is multi-layered with this, with this dope discussion. Brittany Renner is not only promoting this lifestyle of just being out here in the streets, being loose, being reckless. But at the same time, Brittany Renner is also the type of female that will try to disguise her toxic, problematic behavior so that she can be, I don't know, accepted or uh, have somebody to try to understand her or cape for her in the process of her just being a, a straight out, straight up promotion, promoter of whole culture. It's a cop out. And ladies, she's setting y'all up for the failure to have y'all to also believe that you can get away with the same things that she's able to get away with. And again, she's already failing within the midst of that. But again, her, her misery and her failure will look better than yours. It will be better than yours because, again, she has certain perks, luxuries that you don't have. And so if you're going to try to pattern yourself after a female like that, you got to understand you will not get the same results. You have got to be careful. Ladies, let's start promoting being a uh, productive, righteous, self-disciplined. Hold up. Wives, mothers, and women. Get out of that whole promotion of being a hot girl being a, a top-notch hoe, like get out of that. It leads down a path to nowhere, especially if you don't have the, the same access of that of a Britney Renner.
And again, even she is failing. Her failure just looks prettier than yours. So just be very careful with that. Because I've seen so many young ladies, you know, coming up behind me or just women in general coming up behind me or ahead of me even thinking that this is this is this is something that's feasible to do. Like we should get in on this. Get in on it if you want to. Get in on it if you want to and see what happens to you. You're going to fail, sis. This is not something that is sustainable. A lot of the times, you guys, whole phases lead to a whole lifestyle. And it's hard to get out of it. It's hard to wash it off. It's hard to shake it. And when you want to shake it, you're going to have a, a difficult time doing so because you've been so consumed in that type of lifestyle for so long. So much so to where you can end up sabotaging and jeopardizing good quality situations all because you're just so used to being toxic, destructive, counterproductive in the streets, reckless, being selfish. Be careful. Don't even don't even get in on it. Don't even get in on it. I know that they, they romanticize it and they blow it up and they glorify it. I know that they do that, but look at it for what it really is. Put it in, into perspective. These hoes are miserable. They're failing. And they're trying to save face by pretending like, oh, this is what I wanted anyway. It's not. It's not. And again, this is why so many of us ladies of today end up just failing because we're looking at females such as a Brittany Renner for guidance. I'll leave it at that, y'all. I'll see you on the next dope discussion. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Danica Marie, we're out. Peace.